What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it was against Hai Duong Pro, a level 9 um, Vietnamese clan. You know, they gave it their best, and kind of luckily for Invicta, um, they weren't the most experienced attackers. Uh, if they were, definitely I don't think we would have won this war because uh, this was not Invicta's best showing. Kind of uh, the war plan didn't exactly pan out, guys. It just seemed like everyone was in a rush this war for some reason. Um, you know, so we've addressed it and we're really taking measures to uh, improve, I guess, right? Um, no one's fault. I know everyone has real life shit to come up and sometimes a lot of it comes up for people, but, uh, you know, no excuses. Let's go on and check it over. Uh, so 7463, it's not like it was like close and actually they had, let's look at this. We had three Town Hall 11s and six, well, five Town Hall 10s and a 9.5. They had... <laughs> eight Town Hall 11s and five Town Hall 10s. So um, they did have quite an advantage. And so you can tell, absolutely, if they were experienced attackers, a lot of these would have been cleaned up. Uh, we did have quite the hero advantage, you know, as per kind of usual in these kind of wars, um, down low, right? Our, our, our bottom is so strong. My bottom beasts, love you guys. By the way, I'm really hoping my webcam got sort of fixed. Um, I think I figured out the problem. Uh, so this is my first test actually, so let's just hope it works. Uh, anyways, you can see they missed a lot of our bases and, uh, that ended up being to our luck because, uh, you know, we, again, we didn't overall did it, did do a terrible job or anything. Um, just things weren't planned. People seem rushed this war. Uh, cause we missed one there. We didn't even clean up and we had to use a couple bullies too, which is really, really strange. So anyhow, it's been addressed. Let's check out a few of these replays. Just going to blow through some of these. Um, wasn't the craziest of wars. So we'll check out 03 going in here. All right. It's a very symmetrical kind of form base. Um, immediately looking at this base, well, there's only real couple spots in the entire base. You could have, well, one, two, three, and four spot to put any sort of double giant bombs even if they're pathed correctly or not um looking at this base just how it is even though i know where things are i would say if teslas are above the town hall bombs are in these open compartments on the side or vice versa maybe you've got all four bombs or two bombs and two teslas and and whatever one tesla on either side it's kind of obvious to tell where they are though so um oh three just brings a simple uh three heel one jump uh shattered gobo and <clears throat> against this kind of symmetrical base it really pans out well just kind of fast forward this so wall breakers are in everything is going to go straight forward leaving those breadcrumbs with the valves really good job with that uh the only thing of super uh concern i guess would be um oh no that's right he, he <laughs> my bad Whew, i'm out of it uh he already lured the cc as well here um so that is a huge piece because he can just send those valves in instantly and they just start getting value right away. Drops that heal down, drops the jump down. Everything's going to move in. Queen's got to jump in there. She does uh, end up jumping in this apartment, taking out that double giant bomb, just like I had talked about. Um, it's pretty obvious where things are. Valves are in that core, shredding things up. He sends in a bunch of hogs. Like, look at down here. There's not even really room for spring traps on that kind of like 730 to 230 spot on the base. Um, or 830 or 230, whatever you want to say. Uh, one heel goes down, no spots for any sort of tramp. Those hogs are just going to rip through the rest of this base. So guys, when you're planning that, that stuff on these very compact kind of symmetrical bases, just remember that, like get get your targets. Um, you're going to see it does set off some bombs here, but it's not a huge worry. Like the bombs aren't set up well. So as long as you know they're going to trigger them just like this, one bomb at a time, and there's a heel down, you're safe. So... Uh, just kind of plan for that plan for your hogging like that like right now you know O3's goal here was just to um, get the valks in get the queen take out that core take out the double giant bomb and start feeding in the hogs in there just going to work through this very compact bottom section of the base uh, with no threat one heal that's all they needed so nice job O3 this tree in the bag um, a couple more up just going to play a few bunch through the middle here Good old gravy going in, bringing uh, four earthquakes, uh, two heals, and a rage spell. Uh, sh good old shattered goho, pretty much here. Goes in, drops the golems, going to create this huge funnel, tons and tons of trash buildings on the outside here. So really needs to drop those wizards early, 
drop two wizards right on that dark witcher store it's just known for everything's going to go down starting to create that funnel on one side um drops the third golem i think i said shattered goho because it is a stone goho that's my bad with three giants on top of it so he's going to use those giants on these this back end see all these point defense on this side like just one two one two one really like one giant right on in the middle and this cannon's going to get really good value for the hogs especially just like that last base i talked about there's no room for even spring traps here i mean yeah once you get into here um it looks you know up here is a little bit of a dangerous area but really it's going to be it have the same result exactly as the attack we just watched here comes some hogs and it's starting to reinforce as soon as that tesla pops got the golem in there doing some tanking gonna really get great value with these hogs because they're just gonna start forcing the golem back up but the hogs have not been touched they've already taken on two defenses got to take down that sweeper uh they might fizzle out a little bit here but he's gonna start sprinkling hogs in all kind of around the base um should have maybe waited for that giant a little bit um not a huge deal though right so giant goes in there tanks the tesla to uh golems in there to a tank he probably didn't even need to drop that heal right there because the golems doing tanking for everything the hogs are basically untouched maybe the heal over here would have been a little better but no big deal because there's definitely gonna be a tree in the bag queen's in there still has not used her ability clean up whiz all over the base g g look at those army caps one two three and four <clears throat> it's gonna be tree in the bag for Grady. Good job, buddy. One more up. Yeah, Raka. Still another very symmetrical base, but him just brings a good old shattered Lalo with this one. I love these attacks. Nice to see when you're able to achieve the targets that you want to get. Sometimes, as in him's case here, you don't even get all the targets you want to get. <laughs> and um and you still can come away with the three star. So golem goes down to right one one on the arch tower. Counted those spaces so that golem didn't wander. Going to create his funnel here. Uh, unfortunately, he loses the wizard on that dark elixir drill. Uh, needed to wait like one more second. If he dropped it now, it would have been completely fine. But no big deal, right? Uh, still actually has the one wizard, but um, doesn't really care that much. You're going to see the jump go down. Golem's going to go in. Well, as soon as that Arch Tower goes down, he's going to continue to be able to take out these buildings with these wizards. Poison's going down over the CC troops. Queen is in there taking it out. Uh, going to take that jump in one second, finish off those CC troops. Uh, Rage goes down. King uh, is raging it up himself. Takes down that defensive queen. Air defense number one is down. Now, see here is where I say the raid goes, doesn't go to plan. Queen goes for a walk, right? That cannon and army camp that if he had just waited a second and got that funnel down pat with that wizard... I uh, don't think this would have happened, uh, but his goal is to get that air defense, and it never goes down. So he's got three air defense up and only three lava hounds. It's not like this is like a rock base. This is all town hall nine defenses here. Um, but really just recognize that, so he immediately sends it in while he still has some tanking going on with these golems here. Right, This hound is not tanking those expos. Finally, it turns and locks on them, but gets those balloons in very quickly. Drops that rage down. Look at all these air stones, too. Like At this point, the rage and rock is like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> let's just do this let's beast through this the queen is still doing cleanup on the outside mind you right skeletons are chasing along but he's got a ton of balloons coming in double haste goes down just gonna rip everything down and only has two teslas air defense and the expo to go the loons because of the haste get out the front a little bit give that hound one more second boom hound tanks some of the bombs and he's got five more balloons coming in from the back end so gg to this base very sexy attack, him. Very sexy recovery, I should say. Tree stars in the bag. I think I have one more I want to show you. See, those are like 10 out of 10. Um, and unfortunately, because of our kind of lackluster performance, we'll just say, um, we didn't really, I mean, we had a lot of 11s to hit, so that was part of it. But we never got a chance to even go for really three star attempts on on these lower bases so uh anyhow is what it is let's check this hit out by dart dart's been just a beast this wasn't too bad of a base design actually i was looking at it um so dart gonna uh, it's just gonna get these free buildings some minions and drop this queen walk right no buildings on this side uh, drop the wizard to create that funnel push that queen up and around so there she goes She's going to get quite a bit of value actually on this walk. You're going to see how this pans out. 
<clears throat> loses the one wall breaker, so he drops a giant, drops three more, four more wall breakers, finally opens up that wall. So he's going to let that queen raid in. She's going to go in, rock a huge chunk of this base, pull out that CC, poison goes down to help her out. Takes out that dragon very, very quickly. Healers on that raid, no big deal. Takes down the cannons, got some skellies. Just going to finish off of, uh, this whole kind of hollow out this big part of the base. Goes ahead and sends that cold-blooded golem. Nice and easy funnel off that army camp for all these Valks. Leaves those breadcrumbs. Valks are in. King is in. Um, I was watching this. Uh, like, such good value when I healed. Valks are not getting hit at all. Uh, gets everything into that next wall. Jump spell is late, though. So it took an extra second. I think he lost a Valk. But again, no big deal. A few hogs in reinforcement. Don't know why I have it on time, too. <clears throat> but look at all these hogs. There's really only Cannon, Expo, Wizard Tower to go. And he's so many hogs. Just got to finish off that air defense, and then we're going to jump right in. I guess that's not so many, but definitely enough hogs, we'll just say. Especially that queen jumps up, helps out. Boom, loses them all. Double giant bomb, but saves three just for the wizard tower. It is cleanup time. Very nice hit there. Way to save those three hogs in the bag. Not that it would have mattered. All right. So, and it conclude this recap. Uh, this was kind of almost a test recap uh, for my webcam. I'm hoping it works again. Um, I just had to type the really weirdest thing. I had to change up the folder I was saving all my videos to, uh, just because I'm constantly, I don't know. I, I, this theory I have, I talked to my uh, guy that actually helps me do things with my PC, and uh, he suggested this, and it seems to work. So this is the test. I hope it worked. Um, other than that, guys, we're going to call it a night here. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, range War 2.0 versus WHF that I'm not in, uh, but cheering on the guys there. Really, you know, this is a rematch. Uh, hope this uh, hope this uh, comes away with the victory for 2.0. This would be uh, awesome. I know uh, Sh um, Power Bank streaming it streaming it right now, so guys, uh, hopefully you're checking that out. Also, uh, Invicta, which I have both my accounts in for this war, uh, just matched up against War Bears uh, DWA Clan. So fun stuff there. I'm finding attacks as we speak. So, calling it a night, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wazir, trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.